thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. Director Brennan, first of all, congratulations. I uh, appreciated the chance to talk about a number of issues with you previously, and uh, I'm going to be asking you some additional questions about drones and targeted killings in the days ahead, but for today, uh, my congratulations. Director Clapper, I want to ask you about what I asked you about a year ago, and that was the matter of surveillance and particularly what the rules are that an intelligence agency would have to follow in order to electronically track the movements and locations of an American inside the United States. And I asked you about this a year ago, and you said that your lawyers uh, were studying this, and I hope that since a year has passed, we can get uh, some answers uh, to these questions. So first, let me ask uh, the question, if an intelligence agency wants to electronically track the movements and whereabouts of an American inside the United States, how much evidence do they need? Well, first of all, let me just say, sir, that um, particularly in the case of um, NSA and CIA, um, there are strictures against uh, tracking American citizens uh, in the United States for, for foreign intelligence purposes, and that's what those agencies are set up to do. Um, I think, though, when uh, I might ask Director Mueller to speak to this, uh, because what you're referring to is, I think, devolves into uh, the law enforcement uh, criminal area. So, Bob. Well, let, let me, and, and I do want to hear from Director Mueller, but I'm trying to get some general principles out with respect to intelligence, and you've cited uh, certainly some areas that, that are relevant, but what I'm really trying to do is get an unclassified answer to a question about what the law authorizes. The law is, of course, as you know, is embedded in the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which was recently the amendment, and to which was recently extended for five years. And it places very strict uh, strictures on uh, the intelligence community's uh, tracking of U.S. persons where there is a terrorism nexus. And that is overseen very strictly by both uh, the FISA court uh, as well as within the executive branch, both by my office and, and the Attorney General. So there are very strict rules about that, as you know, as, as, as we've discussed. But as you, as you know, there are some fundamental questions about the balance between security and liberty that transcend just the FISA question. So what I would like to do is see if we can get a direct answer to the question about when the intel community needs to get a warrant, for example, when a lesser amount of evidence would do, and second, the circumstances when uh, no specific evidence is needed at uh, all. And the FISA law does not specify whether a warrant is required. So that's the reason that I'm asking the question. I asked it a I'd year I'd like to ago. ask and Director gonna, Mueller to, to, to help me with that question. And, and, and Mr. Director, I'm anxious to hear from Director Mueller, who I greatly respect, but I also need to hear from you with respect to the intelligence community. That's why I asked it a year ago. And As I, I said, Senator Wyden, uh, in the case of CIA and NSA, who were engaged in foreign intelligence collection, that's a practice they, they do not engage in. Director Mueller. Uh, uh, well, Senator, uh, uh, you're talking, uh, well, let me start by saying that there's no real distinction in uh, what we do between the criminal and the national security. If we require it in, uh, in uh, criminal side, we require it in national security, and we treat them the same. There is no distinction between our intelligence cases uh, in terms of uh, uh, undertaking the activity you, uh, you uh, suggest uh, and our uh, criminal cases. That being said, in the wake of the Jones decision, which I'm sure you're familiar with, that is, uh, uh, put some things in an area where we're waiting to see where the courts go. Quite obviously, they said if you were going to trespass to install a device, then that requires a warrant. The standard on that warrant is still up in the air. And consequently, to give you a more precise answer to a particular question on a particular monitoring, I would have to be more, more factually based and then apply the law to that particular set of facts. Director Mueller, you have identified the exact reason why I'm trying to get an answer from Director Clapper, because there's no question we are going to watch what the courts do in the days ahead. The question is, what will be the rights of Americans 
while that is still being fleshed out. And the fact is FISA does not specify whether a warrant is required. And I know I'm out of time for this round. I just want you to know, Director Clapper, respectfully, I will be asking this question of you just like we did with respect to the legal documents for targeted killings, which we finally got after seven requests over a two-year period, until we get an answer, because I think Americans are entitled to a direct answer to that question. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, would you like Director Mueller to respond? I think, I think, I think it would be helpful. Ma Madam Chair, I think the director did, and he gave a very thoughtful answer, which is that the courts are still wrestling with the various interpretations of it. I think that is a correct answer by direct, Director Mueller, but we still have the question remaining, what are the rights of Americans as of today while the courts are wrestling with this? And that is the matter we have not gotten an answer to. I thank you, and this for you, Director Clapper, again on the surveillance front, and I hope we can do this in just a yes or no answer, because I know Senator Feinstein wants to move on. Last summer, the NSA director was at a conference, and he was asked a question about the NSA surveillance of Americans. He replied, and I quote here, the story that we have millions or hundreds of millions of dossiers on people is completely false. The reason I'm asking the question is, having served on the committee now for a dozen years, I don't really know what a dossier is in this context. So what I wanted to see is if you could give me a yes or no answer to the question, does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not? Not wittingly. There are cases where they could in inadvertently perhaps uh, collect, but not, not wittingly. All right. 